for all of y'all out there saying that the information that I'm giving out is invalid because my hair is dry and undefined. You are almost right, boo. But in the words of the great philosopher Ariana Grande, almost is never enough. Dasha, I'm also known as the hair doula, and I've been getting shade about my hair. For why though? It's okay. I have been getting comments about how my hair looks dry and it is undefined. Therefore, apparently, the information that I am offering up on my YouTube channel is invalid. Cool, I get that. What I'm gonna do today though, is I'm gonna show you exactly how defined my hair can get. You're gonna be shocked. You're not gonna think it's the same head of hair. I'm gonna show you exactly how defined this hair can get. But before I do that, I'm going to tell you why I, I, I don't care about it being defined. And I'm also gonna share with you a little bit why people shame, shame, cause that's what you're doing, and police, because you're also policing my black body and my black hair and the way that I decide to wear it. So I'm also going to share with you the reasons why people shame and police women who decide not to wear their hair in a perfectly defined state. Let me tell you, just because my hair isn't defined all the time doesn't mean it's dry. Doesn't mean it's not hydrated. All in all, this should be a fun video. And apparently Layla has decided that now is the time that she wants to eat. So just pretend she's not crunching in the background. Grab you some popcorn or something to crunch on with her and we can have a snack attack together. Oh, beautiful sounds of puppy chowing down. She's not a puppy, she's a full blown dog. Okay, I'm sorry, let's go. <laughs> So a lot of y'all are new to me, to my channel, to my life, and you don't understand where I started from and how I got here. So I spent years only focused on growing my natural hair. That's all I wanted to do. I chopped all my hair off. I had this, I had this much hair on my head and I grew my hair from one inch all the way down to tailbone length. And I'm gonna show some pictures, some pictures right here for y'all. So you can see exactly what I'm talking about when I say I grew my hair from nothing all the way down to my tailbone. And in that process of me growing my hair out, cause I really wanted to show that black women could grow long hair, I almost exclusively did protective styles and I did not really have fun with my hair. I washed it, I twisted it, braided it, whatever, I put it away and I only did protective styles with my hair. I, I didn't really add hair. And I almost never wore it out. I didn't wear my hair out. Recently, within the last year, I decided that I wanted to have fun with my natural hair. I wanted to wear it out. I have a lot of hair. I have big natural hair. So I actually chopped it from where it was tailbone length. I chopped it and made it shorter. And I got, I got it shaped because I wanted to wear it out and I wanted my hair to be big. I don't really care about it being defined. I like big hair literally anybody can have hair that lays flat like literally anybody can have that i'm sorry literally anybody can have hair that lays flat my hair reaches for the sky it's got big dreams who am i to hold her back okay flourish boo flourish it's my hair and i don't care if it's defined second i want to show y'all exactly what my hair looks like when it is super defined so check this picture out right here. I, I, I'm probably actually gonna include a couple. This first picture right here is the most defined my hair has ever been. Like, do you see how boring that is? Like, I'm sorry, it's, it's great. It's beautiful. This, my hairstylist did this because she gets that thing. I'm trying to tell y'all, Renee, she's at, so some people have asked me who my stylist is. Her name is Renee. She's at Southern Curl in Atlanta, Georgia, and they specialize in curly hair at that salon. She's phenomenal. I love her. Renee did this wash and go set for me. This is a wash and go, that's all my hair. I literally did this a couple months ago. Like this was December when I went back to get my hair reshaped again. So it's not like it's been a year since this happened and I have so much more hair. This hair just defined, you know, some people are, are expecting my hair to be. I don't like wearing my hair like that. When my hair is that defined, it takes like two, three weeks for my hair to get as big as I like for it to be. And I wash my hair every week. So I'm not gonna wait two, three weeks for my hair to get big. So what does that mean? That means on wash day that I want my hair to not be so, so defined. 
so that it can be big. Like I like it. I like it to be big. I feel like it's cute. I like for it to be a little frizzy. I think that's cute. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. My first day here looks like some people's seventh day here. And that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So I hope that clears that up. Now let's go into the real tea. Let's, let's get into it, like all the way in there. The reason why I share what I share about natural hair, the whole reason that my channel exists is because I want to empower black women to love and accept their hair the way that it is. And when I hear people saying things like, oh, her hair is dry and undefined, don't listen to her, that shows me that they have not done the work to understand how their hair actually works. And they're so subscribed to Eurocentric standards of beauty that they can't even appreciate all of the different states in which natural hair exists. Some people's hair doesn't get super silky and defined and some people don't want their hair to look super silky and defined. And if your hair is not super silky and defined, it's okay. It doesn't have to look like that. Your hair doesn't have to lay flat to make somebody else feel comfortable. Your hair doesn't have to lay flat. Here comes the train again. We got Layla chomping down with the train coming by. I can't wait. Help me. I need to move someplace. Quiet. So let me just finish up by saying black woman, beautiful black woman, gorgeous Afro textured hair. Your hair can be defined if you want it to be defined and that's beautiful. Your hair can be frizzy and all over the place if that's how you want it and it's beautiful. It can be big, it can be voluptuous, it could be straight, it could be wavy, it could be whatever you want it to be because it's yours. And nobody has the right to tell you what your hair should look like. Make sure that it's healthy, make sure that you love you, and that you're making a decision that is best for your lifestyle and what you want your hair to look like. Wear your hair how you want it. And forget the rest, because the rest don't matter. And that's just the truth. That's it, it's all love. If you don't like my hair, you don't gotta be here. <laughs> But you know, if you decide that you want to spread love and be here, then I will welcome you with open arms. Because that's what I'm about. I'm not here to judge nobody. And I'm really not here to be judged. But I understand that that comes with the territory. So that's cool. That's whatever. That's fine. Anyways. I hope that that addresses the commentary on my hair being dry and undefined. No, it is not dry. And yes, yes, baby. Yes. It is undefined, because that's how I like it. I don't have to fit into anyone's box of what they think my hair should look like, and neither do you. So that's all I got to say about it. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all watching, subscribing. I think that I'm about to be at a thousand subscribers soon. That's so crazy. <laughs> so I don't know. I have to figure out something special to do for y'all for a thousand subscribers. So I'll figure it out. Okay, thanks.